everybody, this is Jim Kurtz with Harvest Harmonics. Once again, uh, hopefully everybody had a, a really happy Christmas and Merry Christmas. Hopefully you got everything you wanted this year from uh, from Santa or or others. I know I got um, I got the joy of watching my kids ride around on their new bikes. So I was really, really happy. Um, you know, I, I'm the kind of guy at this point in my life where I'm not really looking for a lot of presents for myself, but I really enjoy seeing you know, uh, the reactions of people when I get them gifts, you know, my kids and other people. And, and believe it or not, I've been really happy with uh, some of the gifts we've been seeing that the farmers get, you know, it's a, it's a real testament to the hard work that we do when we see farmers telling us that, hey, this is, uh, this has been the best thing uh, that we've seen. We haven't, you know, this is an unbelievable result. I can't believe uh, how much of a difference this is making, you know, these types of successes and comments. You know, that's like my Christmas present, right? That tells me that um, that the product that I've been selling is uh, is actually producing the product it's supposed to, right? That it's actually delivering what we uh, what we say it's going to deliver, and that's, I guess, a very novel uh, novel idea in this day and age. Unfortunately, you know, in fact, I got a com. Uh, one of my assistants read me back a communication from uh, a farmer on LinkedIn, and he he was a hater. You know, he was just the guy just, you could just see it. You could just see it in the text, like how much of a hater this guy was, you know, and, and I don't get bothered by haters because I look at it like if you, uh, if you don't get anybody hating your, your stuff or, or calling you a liar or saying you're a snake oil guy or whatever else, if you don't ever get that, then you're just not promoting widely enough. That's how I look at it, you know, because there's always going to be those guys, you know, and uh, a guy that I've uh, watched at various points, his name's Grant Cardone. He used to say that, um, uh, if you're not getting, you know, the people that that hate on you or that uh, that want to crush or tell you your dreams are impossible or make uh, make nothing out of you, those are the guys who gave up on their own dreams a long time ago and uh, they're trying to take it out on the rest of the world. So, but the interesting thing about that that I look at, you know, and um, and uh, and believe me, uh, Mary Mary Isabel, if uh, if you want to tell this guy, I can't remember his name, you can maybe get a chat, but. Um, I uh, don't don't put in the chat. I don't want to make a, a celebrity out of it. But you know, at the end of the day, um, when when people tell me you know, this is the guy actually says you're a liar. You know, I know that you can't get two ears of corn per stalk. And you know, why don't you talk to somebody uh, that knows what they're talking about? And if uh, if I find out that you're lying, it's going to go badly for you. Like he's actually threatening me, right? Like like what are you going to do if I like? First of all, I'm not lying. Uh, I'm actually getting the product that I say I'm going to get. I'm actually producing that product. I would never be stupid enough to come out and talk and tell people, "Hey, we're getting two ears per stalk on our corn on our corn trials down in South America." I would never say that. I mean, how stupid would I have to be to say something like that if I wasn't actually producing it? It would be pretty dumb. And I'm not a stupid guy because it's it's easily verifiable, right? And so, and, and obviously the pictures we've shown of uh, the 14 foot tall corn stalks, I mean, how dumb would I be if I was just presenting a picture that could be easily verified as being false? At the end of the day, I've got video. You can go on our YouTube channel uh, and watch the videos of our agronomist who's talking about, um, you know, or Organic Latem, uh, hit their, their YouTube channel. You can go out and talk to the agronomist to see the subtitles. You can do the translations yourself if you, if you don't believe me. But I'll go even one better for all the haters out there, all the guys who have been, you know, doubting us and saying that that's not true. There's no way you can get results. Everybody claim makes big claims. Nobody can deliver 20 or 30 percent. Nobody can increase bricks by five points. Nobody can reawaken in the microbes in the soil. Nobody can uh, make the plants more efficient at photosynthesis. All these different, you know, doubting doubters and haters that are telling us like what we're actually doing in the real world, in the physical world, in the actual real world farming operations. Um, it's impossible, right? That's what the, we keep hearing from people. And, and I'm going to flip it around, flip the script a little bit and say, look, if you don't believe me, if you don't believe that the results that we're seeing, in fact, let me just show you guys what, what we're talking about. Because for those of you guys who haven't seen, I don't want you guys to be you know, thinking to yourself, like, what is he talking about if you haven't seen this before? So uh, let me share my screen with you here. And uh, I don't know if I got it in the chat. Let me see. Hold on a second. Wait before I do that. I just want to see if there's a comment here. Uh, okay, good. No, he's, um. I, I thought my assistant was giving me the name of the guy who was the hater. I, I don't care what his name is. It's not important. Um, he's a corn farmer. Let's just put it that way. But, um, and I understand. So, uh, let me show you some of the results, some of these amazing results that nobody believes, right? 
So uh, let me put this. Okay, good. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna go through this whole slideshow, the whole presentation. If you guys are curious about what the Kimenase Plant Booster is and how it works and the technology, I'm gonna invite you to go to our website at harvestharmonics.com, and I'll put that up on the on the live stream here in a few minutes. But just to let you guys know, our mission is not to sell products or make a bunch of money or try to scam anybody. Our mission is very simple, and it's a very big mission. Okay, it's not a mission that's just help out a few farmers or you know support America or support just one little tiny pocket of something. We're helping farmers around the world grow healthier, better quality products at lower cost with less chemical inputs and higher yields without harming the environment. Now that is our mission. That is what we wake up every day and come to the office to do, okay, is to help farmers produce healthier food for everybody to eat and do so in a way that's gonna make them more profitable and reduce their costs and ultimately sustain organic natural living around the world. Now we're doing this through a unique radio wave technology that stimulates the direct that influences the direct metabolism of plants. So we're able to make photosynthesis more efficient, and we're also able to make microbial function in the soil much more efficient as well. And again, um, I, for an in-depth explanation of what this technology is and how it works, please uh, go to our Facebook page, go to our website. You can get all the data about exactly how this works. I don't want to go uh, over that in this particular presentation because I want to just uh, stay on topic here about some of the amazing uh, claims that we've seen. So. Let's take a look at, at one of the bigger claims here, okay? The first one I'm gonna look at here is not 100% faster growth rate. That's not necessarily, um, oh, I'll get back to Jim in a second here, sorry. Um, let's go to, nope. I'm gonna go to our testimonials in a minute here. Let the, let the farmers tell you. This is one of the, the things that, um, the claims that, um, that the farmer uh, basically uh, tried to call us on or thought he was going to call us on. Now, this is, again, in Ecuador. This is the, the uh, Higher Polytechnic School of Chimborazo, or ESPOCH. Um, we installed our, our humanistic plant booster. We're in South America. They call it the crop booster uh, on a corn field. And this is an organic corn field. No chemicals are the things used. And we did a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, the, the standard field right now is about three months in, a little over three months old. And this was a picture taken about a week ago, a week and a half ago, maybe. So at about 40 days at the time of this picture, we're seeing 4.2 meter tall. Now he was complaining, this, this farmer was complaining when it was 2.6 meter and everything else was under a meter. So it was doubling the growth rate. He couldn't even believe that. So I imagine if I showed him this picture, what he would say, you know, but there, here's the reality. Okay, this is a, a scientific trial. We're gonna have white papers on it. We'll have peer reviewed studies on this. Uh, to showcase the exact results at the end of the harvest. But already we're seeing 72% increase in, in overall production of tasseling and, and buds. So we're basically seeing two ears of corn, or one and one and three quarters, I think, on the average, ears per stalk. So we're seeing basically two and sometimes even three ears of corn per stalk. And when you see how tall these corn stalks are, it's easy to see why you're getting more production. These plants are just getting so much more energy that they're able to grow faster and they're able to grow uh, more fruits, more corn. And that's the simplicity of it. Now, this type of result is going to seem un unbelievable to you. And unbelievable just means not able to be believed. Okay, This is beyond the scope of what you would normally see. This is not a fertilizer, guys. Uh, this is not uh, adding nitrogen to your soil. And that's why you're not seeing, that's why you're seeing a difference here. It's not, we're not just doing the same old, same old and getting some kind of huge magical result. We're completely changing the metabolism of the plant. And we're doing so without having to add a lot of extra chemicals or nitrogen or anything like that. And we're able to do that because the signaling system that we have directly mimics and, and reinforces the natural metabolism of plants. So you'll get results like this where you're seeing the corn stalks 14 feet tall after three and a half months, or you'll see them start to sprout two ears of corn per stalk instead of one. I mean, the only way you can achieve a result like that is if you're able to handle the entire metabolism of the plant in a systemic level. And then just going back over to some of our other, and again, I'm going to just focus today. Usually I focus on some of our more conservative results because, you know, I don't want to seem like the guy that's like really over promising and under delivering. But today I just want to really directly address that concern head on. Now, this particular farmer, this first farmer I'm going to show you, this is his testimonial. Um, we did two different trials with him. First of all, he's got a citrus grove in Southern California. And uh, the picture here just shows a, a nice picture of an orange tree, but I'll show you the side by side picture in a minute. Um, and we took a field of one year old citrus seedlings, okay? And 
we compared that to his neighbor's two-year-old uh, citrus seedlings, which his brother manages. His brother manages the farm manager for both farms. And we have uh, one field, which is a one-year-old seedling, and, two, and the second field, which is a two-year-old seedling, both managed in the same way. You know, same soil type, same climate, same types, of, same varieties of orange trees, same nutrient nutrition, uh, same, you know, pesticides, same everything uh, on these two fields. And the Kiminasi field, which was a one-year-old seedling, had already outgrown by the end of the season, had outgrown the two-year-old seedlings next door. And the same farmer also happens to have a dragon fruit nursery, a little indoor nursery. It's one of his packing houses that he converted into a nursery for dragon fruit. Now, what he did here was he obviously tested the Kiminasi plant booster on these dragon fruit seedlings. Now, he grows them from about three or four inch seedlings to full size, which, as you see here uh, on the right, was done with Kiminasi plant booster. Now, before he was taking 10 weeks to get them up to full size uh, from the three or four inch cuttings to the full size like you see here. But this picture was taken at five weeks for with an untreated dragon fruit seedling and a treated dragon fruit seedling. Same variety, same soil type, same nutrition, same everything else, same watering. And the only difference being Kiminasi plant booster. Kiminasi plant booster not only made that plant much, much grow much, much faster, but you can see it's also much greener, much healthier looking. Uh, the, the stem itself is much thicker and denser and just generally much, much uh, more viable after five weeks. Than the, than the standard control without the Kiminasi. So I just want to give you, in the farmer's own words, uh, what he says about this technology so you understand uh, what we're really able to do here. So, so yeah, that was my interview with Jim Reed, one of our farmers down in Southern California. Um, I did that interview, I think, about six months ago, and um, you know he's still going along, uh, very, very happy with what we're doing. This particular example, another, again. We're not talking about little incremental improvements. You're not talking about, okay, add this fertilizer to get an extra 5% uh, yield. We're talking about dramatic improvements in, in the growth rate and overall uh, production of virtually every plant we've tested this on. In this example, this was literally done just a couple weeks. Uh, this picture was taken about a week ago. And, um, and you see here the difference. What happened in this farm is they got a massive hailstorm uh, happened on these broccoli fields. And it really stunted the growth and slowed the growth down on the control or non kiminasi fields, as you can see here on the left. And just look at them. These are about uh, 43 days in, so a little less than two months in on these broccoli fields. And just look at the difference between uh, on the right, uh, the kiminasi plant booster field, and then on the left, the control field. Look how much denser the leaf structure is, how much larger they are, and they're already well on their way. And the hail did not bother them. The hail didn't have that much of a negative effect. I mean, and there's other, uh, a lot of other things, incruents in production, reduced reductions in nematodes and in insects, these types of things, um, all kinds of different results here. I already showed you the corn. Let me show you the corn uh, agronomist here. And this is going to be in Spanish, but you can read the subtitles. And I want you to hear from his viewpoint, not from ours, from his viewpoint, what's happening in this, uh, in this field trial with Kiminasi. So take a look.
The cool thing here is what he's talking about is, you know, obviously he normally has to plant um, a lot more, a lot more, um, you know, acreage basically. So he's talking about using corn as a fodder crops or feed crops. So what he's saying is in, in, you know, he's getting 86 tons per hectare versus 40 to 40, 40 to 50 tons per hectare previously. So if he can almost double or get, get his, in, his overall fodder production up by 23, 24%, or 72 percent. Um, what that means is he can plant less acres and still feed all of his cattle, all of his livestock. So if you're a rancher and you're growing your own feed, growing your own alfalfa, growing your own hay, your own wheat, or whatever you're feeding the, or, or your own corn, whatever you're feeding the cattle, you can actually grow on less land. In fact, we've had dairy farmers. Let me show you a dairy farmer just to give you an idea of uh, that. Um, so this one, yeah. This particular one was a uh, no. This was uh, this was same university actually, but this is on an alfalfa. So they're doing several trials on this university with us. They're doing one on corn. They're doing one on alfalfa. And what he says is the germination rate was 95% versus usually 60%, um, and that means that they can utilize less seeds to to seed the field where they're going to be pasturing these cows. He's also noticing that the untreated field was getting you know, 13 to 16 tons per hectare versus the Kiminasi field, which is a 21 tons per hectare, which means that the the they can increase the amount of cattle that they can use on a, a particular stretch of land. And they've also noticed that the, cow, the cows are producing more milk. In this case is uh, 75.75 liters more milk production per, per cow per day. And this other dairy farmer, which I'll show you here in a second, which I'm not gonna go through, that's, that's much later in this presentation, but, um, you get the idea. I mean, at, at the end of the day, my point being is, yes, we're, we're seeing huge, huge differences in, in results, but it's not just a matter. It's not just because it's an input. You know, it's, it's not like um, we are seeing these these dramatic results for some kind of weird reason. We're not using a magic bean or something like that. What we're using is a technology that's that's literally reinforcing the metabolism of the plant every single time you irrigate. So it's like it's like if you were a human being and every time you took a sip of water, that that water, that plain water, was actually increasing your metabolism. How how fast do you think that your body would readjust and would start to uh, look healthy again and look strong again and have muscles again and, and your biological functions would be more efficient and you would be have a lot more energy. How long do you think it would take you? And if human beings drinking water like that, if it could re boost your metabolism in the same way, then within probably you know two weeks or a month, your metabolism can be completely transformed and you would have more energy than you ever had before. And that's what we're doing for plants. Okay, we're dramatically increasing the energy level of the plant so that the plants can can do what they're supposed to do, which is grow fast, grow strong 
and produce lots of fruits and vegetables and high quality fruits and vegetables too. So this is not some kind of magic or anything like that. This is a, a legitimate scientific breakthrough, which is dramatically increasing and revitalizing agriculture around the world. So if you guys want to, uh, if you guys still have your doubts and your skepticism or you're not really sure about this, I offer a simple challenge for you. And that simple challenge is try this on your own farm. You know, I don't care if you buy an acre from me or a couple acres, whatever. Just try a small plot. Try it on your farm and use this and see for yourself the differences in your farm. See the differences in how green the plants look, how fast they grow, how much fruit and vegetables they produce, the quality of the fruits and vegetables, the insect, the differentials in insect resistance, the differentials in disease response. I mean, all these different factors that we're improving just by improving the energy level of the plants are really tr going to transform your farm. So try it for yourself and, and find out what this technology can really do and if you're still really super super cynical or super uh unwilling to do anything then i offer a second challenge for you if you have a university that you work with whether it's an extension office or a university or a, a professional uh, testing association that you have a personal connection with that you trust that you know that if they say something works and something is producing a certain level of, of extra production or better quality and you trust what they say ways you wouldn't trust a company or a salesman what they would say then get me in contact with that university because we have a program that we're launching which is 1000 university trials around the world we want the kimenashi plant booster technology to be the most vetted the most proven the most tested technology or product on the market in agriculture because we understand that when we prove ourselves to a farmer of course is going to buy more for the rest of his farm and of course he's going to refer us to other farmers who he wants to help and of course he's going to tell his friends about it and we get word of mouth and of course more farmers are going to find out about it so of course our business just goes viral it's very simple but we also know that if we get university trials and independent researchers documenting the amazing effects of the kimonasi plant booster there's going to be nobody on earth who's going to question whether this technology is real and whether it's going to work and whether it improves your farm then the only haters we'll really have are the people who just don't want to produce. They just don't want to have a better farm. They want to do things the way they want to do them. They're happy with the status quo, and they just want to uh, keep doing things the way they've always done them, and that's totally fine. But for everybody else who does really want to see improvements in quality, who does really want to see reductions in chemical use and reductions in in input costs and improvements in quality and quantity of their yields and put more money in their pocket, for those guys, that's who we operate for. Again, those are the people who are going to join us in the next generation of farming. Those are the people who are going to help us complete our mission, which is healthy fruits and vegetables for everybody around the world. And those are the people we want to work with. Everybody else will, will eventually get to you. We'll either get to you or you'll have to go out of business because you just won't be able to survive on the lower production that you're doing now. Uh, when everybody else is producing 20, 30, 40, 50 percent increases in yield, you're not going to be able to survive in that future. And I, I would love to people to take advantage of the opportunity to become part of the first people to use this, the, the, the front end of that curve. We, we guarantee that you're going to get results. And if you don't, we give your money back. So far, we haven't had to give anybody their money back because it always works. Uh, but anyway, what questions do you have that I can uh, answer for you uh, before I let you guys go? Let's just take a look here. I got a couple questions here. First question is, can the technology be installed on two crops with one device? Uh, yes, it can. Um, uh, a single device that we have uh, is designed to attach to a pump or water source. So if you're running, let's say, a field of mixed vegetables uh, off one pump, you got some you know, some cabbages over here, some lettuce over here, some tomatoes over there, some peppers over here, and it's all fed by or irrigated with one irrigation system. Yes, one one Kimonosic device will irrigate and treat the whole field and you'll be you'll be good to go. So there's no limit to the amount or number of different crops you have. It's really only limited by your pump or water source and how your irrigation system set up. Um, next question is, can the technology used to be grow to grow apples and pears? Yes, we get really good results on apples and pears and tree fruits, stone fruits of all kinds. We've got plum growers, we've got apple growers, we've got cherry growers. Um, I'm not sure if we got pear guys yet. I'll have to double check. We've got citrus guys. I mean, this works really, really well on tree fruit. And in point of fact, it's not just that we're increasing the yield on these tree fruits. We're actually making the trees much healthier. Um, in fact, I've got a couple of examples I can show. 
these different uh, types of tree fruit where we've actually, sorry, let me pull this up here. This is a good example, cherries, for example. Uh, this cherry group got 25% increase in cherry production and better quality cherries also. They were bigger, they were sweeter, and he sold them for a dollar more per kilogram on the cherries. This grower is a plum grower. Again, five point increase in bricks rating on his plums. Uh, blueberries, which is kind of a bush, not really a tree, but more of a bush or, or perennial there. Again, blueberries, 56% increase in exportability. Um, better bricks, six point increase in bricks on these grapevines. Uh, so perennial crops of all types uh, do very, very well with this. And apples and pears would be no different. In fact, we're looking to try to get some, some more trials going here on bitter pit for the honeycrisp apples and some other uh, apple and cherry diseases here too up in Washington and Oregon. So hopefully uh, this year, uh, actually not hopefully, I know this year within the next couple of uh, weeks, we should be getting a significant number of trials on apples, apples, pears, cherries up in the, the Northeast, as well as um, I believe some more grapevines up in Oregon, uh, Washington, and then Northern California as well. And then we have a lot of nut farmers in California, uh, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, uh, as well using this technology. We should be getting their crop reports. In fact, we just got a couple of crop reports, I think, not too long ago that we're still uh, analyzing. So this can work on all crops. Guys, the only limitation to our technology is how much do you want to start with? Do you want to start with the whole farm? Do you want to use half a farm and use that to compare it to the other half? Do you want to start off with a, tr a small five-acre plot and just compare it to the rest of your farm? Whatever you need to convince yourself and prove to yourself that this technology really is the real deal and it really will work as advertised, we're happy to work with you. And if you guys are the hater types or the guys that want to just not believe anything anybody says, it's totally fine. You know, within a year or two years, we're going to have so many farms and so many universities documenting the success of the Kimonasi plant booster that those comments will just go away. And, and some of those guys will just keep complaining and some of those guys will finally just wake up to the fact that hey, these guys are legit. These guys really are trying to help farmers and we are doing that. So if you want to be one of the first farmers in your neighborhood to use this product and get a competitive advantage and really see some huge differences, positive differences on your farm, then call us 727-324-6750 or you can email us at uh, harvest, service at harvestharmonics.com or you can go to our website at uh, www.harvestharmonics.com and fill out a request for a quote from there. We would love to have one-on-one uh, -on -one consultations with you to show you how you can become part of the future of farming today. Hope to hear from you very soon, and we'll uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day, guys.